maybe I shouldn't. Welcome back to CloverRadio.com, where we are not calming down our rhetoric. We are actually exercising our right to free speech across the World Wide Web. And we were talking about sports. We covered college baseball for a full eight-minute segment. And I think we're going to get into a little more sports, John. Yeah, I'm so, you know, this is going to be heavy on the sports day. There's no, so much we fine. haven't done so, so long. There's so much so big stuff going on. First thing I want to talk about is I want to talk about what the hell's going on with the Big 12? The Big 12 is falling Rats apart. Rats are leaving the sinking ship. Yep. These people cannot get... These are the same people... A lot of these people are the same ones who abandoned the Southwest Conference. Yes. yes. But you know what? The Southwest Conference might be coming back because there's talks of the Big 12 absorbing the Mountain West Conference. And I think that would be no, another... I don't think that's going to happen. No, it might because the Mountain West doesn't have a BCS. In order for the, the Big 12 to keep its guaranteed BCS spot... Yeah. It would have to maintain enough teams. The Mountain West well, doesn't have a BCS spot, so the Mountain West might voluntarily join what's left of the Big 12. Oh, just the whole thing. They to, would do that as to, a league. Yeah, the entire oh, okay. league. And they could become the Big West. I like think you this have the is, Big East. And I think this is going to jump up and bite everybody on the ass. I think I so. Really do. I think this Definitely. is this panic to, to get into the best possible league. Um, uh, Nebraska has left the Big 12. For the Big 10, which the is Big now 10. the Big 11 or 12. Or Colorado something. has left the Big 12 for, for the, the Pac-10. For the Pac-10. Colorado's going to the Pac-10. Okay. Texas, Oklahoma. It seems, everybody seems relatively Texas certain. Texas and Oklahoma are being courted by the SEC. And with Nebraska leaving, Colorado leaving, there's going to be other teams that are leaving. you, you got to understand, teams like Colorado State, the rest of them are like, oh, where the hell are we going to go? Yeah, I know. Kansas what are we doing? is going, we can't be a major independent. Right. We're going to just get lost <laughs> well, in this. I think Kansas and Missouri are the only two big programs still left in the... In the Big Ten. Well, Texas and Oklahoma are being courted by if they uh, the Big 12, the Pac-10. And the SEC. That, the Pac-10 wants Texas. And, yeah. and the SEC. I can see the SEC uh, for maybe Texas because we do have Arkansas. Right. And yeah. Texas does border on the Gulf of Mexico, so you can make a case. Yeah. Um, Oklahoma would very much, I think, if, if Texas leaves, isn't Oklahoma going to have to leave the Big 12? They can't stay. Of course, they may want to be the same thing that Florida State was for a while. The, the, the biggest, baddest team in the ACC. One of the things that Florida State loved about the ACC mm-hmm. was they kicked everybody's ass for about five years. Yeah. yeah. Now, all of a sudden, their football started going down, and everybody else started coming up, and all of a sudden, they started losing. Now, it's like, yeah. well, now it's not such a good deal anymore. Well, I mean, not <laughs> I don't that, like this anymore. It, doesn't, no, 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 no. it also stands that they didn't, it's not only that they dominated in the ACC. Florida State won national titles during that time. So they were pretty much the only thing. They were the ACC gave them pretty much a nice, easy path, right. pass, a uh, path to uh, the national title game. Sure, and then they—I mean, they—they they still had to win the game though. And the thing sure. is, like, but but what happens is you had Florida State basically treading water with all the other teams. The ACC trying to pull them under. Now it's ironic that Florida State is considered a mid-level team in the ACC. Yeah, the, yeah, got, that's yeah. true. It's very true. You've got Clemson. You've got North Carolina is being ranked in the top ten preseason. This year, and North I, Carolina, but let me and they have you, one of the toughest defenses in the country. I had Clemson winning I, at the beginning of the season last year. I had picked Clemson actually to win the ACC, and they did, didn't they? Uh, they went to the no, ACC. Oh, Georgia Tech. They won, no, Georgia Tech won. They they won their division the and got the uh, ACC championship game. But I picked Clemson to win that. Georgia, matter of fact, two years ago, I could not for the life of me understand understand why you guys didn't play for the national title. No, there's a lot of talent at Clemson. The, team, the talent, or, or was that the last year? Was What's two, his face? Two, two, yeah, yeah, three years ago. Three years ago was, three the last, ago was the last full year of Bowden. Of Bowden. Yeah. And I looked at that team's roster like, oh my God, these guys are going to hurt people. Oh, yeah. this, this, yeah. this is an amazing team. And somehow Bobby Bowden managed to work his way to scrape and, and, and pull and make, managed to make that team as mediocre, 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 mediocre as he could. <laughs> and I'm going... What the hell's wrong with this guy? Why don't you just let them play? You know, just here, here's the ball, boys. Go out and play. They probably would have done it on their own. Well, um, they might have. They have Donald that Sweeney, athletic. I think, is a pretty good coach. Oh, yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, he's, uh, he's doing well. Yeah. I'm not a huge Bowden but fan. But what was that all about? I mean, Bobby Bowden goes, right? I'm, dude, I'm sorry, Tom, it was Tommy Bowden? Tommy Bowden. Tommy Bowden goes, mm-hmm. and then they go to the receiver's coach to make him the head. They bypass. The, I think the I, defensive coordinator, the offensive coordinator, well, the Lions coach, the quarterback coach, they went to the receivers coach and made him the head coach. There was something going on there. I'll speculate on that. I think they knew that Dabo Sweeney had the leadership potential in the offensive smarts to be a head coach yeah. at Clemson. I think they were also. And he's young enough. No, there was something else. I think, well, I, you, you know, turn over a program I, like Clemson over to the receivers coach. I'm telling you, boys, there was something. something. He's got I'll naked pictures of somebody. 
Yeah. Well. <laughs> it's Clemson. Everybody's got naked pictures of somebody. No offense. No, it's no, it's true. It's true. Yeah, it's true. It's the difference between culture yeah. and agriculture. Yeah. He's got. It. We we can take this off the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 does Tommy Bowden about... have any daughters? He does. Oh, uh, well, now we know who Dabo Sweeney's got pictures of. Well, when and uh, uh, is Drew single? That's right. We need to see these pictures. ColmanRadio.com is making a call right now for Dabo Sweeney to reveal to us his blackmail no, no, material that got him no, the head coaching no, no, no. job. No, we're going to leave Dabo's daughters out of this. No, no, we're not asking no, no, for Dabo's daughters. daughters. No, no. We not want to Bowden's know how daughters. he got it. Oh. Yeah, Bowden's retired. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Plus, his daughters are, his we daughters are probably like 40. Yeah. We leave the children out, but we, right. go after the, we go after the people. Go after Plus, uh, Bowden's right. daughters are probably in their 40s. Okay. Ooh. 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 <laughs> All right, so let me ask you this: Overrated Where does where does Texas go? Well, I'm telling you, I think it's the end of the Big Twelve. Uh, the Big so 12. where does Texas go, and where does Oklahoma go? If if the if Texas and Oklahoma leave the Big Twelve, um, I can assume that they're both going to go to the Big Ten right now. Keep that up, and you know, I doubt they'll go to the SEC. And the reason is that they will not walk in dominant into the SEC. They will walk in as dominant teams into the Big Ten. Like they point. go into the SEC, sure. there is no guarantee they're playing for the SEC. Look, look how many of the national champions over the last 10, 20 years have come out of the SEC. Not only that, but look at how many times Texas has gone to the championship game as a team in the Big Ten. I mean, Texas yeah. has Texas and Oklahoma have had dominant runs in that conference. And even teams like South Carolina, who you have to pretty much figure is a middle-of-the-road team in the, in the SEC. SEC, yeah. Still gives teams like Florida a hell of a time. Well, the, and they're uh, saying that, you know, I mean, they're they're. I mean, that's one of the things we're proud of now. We, we're not a we're not a walkover not game a anymore. Conference you have to act, yeah, you have to actually play us now because we might actually find a way to sneak in there and win. Yeah, you know, we've gotten two coaches fired. Uh, who was the guy who was at Tennessee before uh, Fulmer um, and South Carolina went there? And this is when um, how are we doing? Sparky Woods. Was the coach at South Carolina, and they went up there and um, uh, beat Tennessee at Tennessee, and they fired the coach that weekend. Yeah. yeah. And then we went and played Ohio State, and beat Ohio State, and they fired the coach that weekend. We are we are a graveyard of coaches. We it's bury true. our own. We bury other people's. It's That's true. who we are. It's true. <laughs> we do we do take a lot of. This is where old coaches go to die in South Carolina. But Spurrier uh, refuses to go, man. Well, here, here's the next thing, and we've got to be quick on this one. Southern Cal sanctions. What's going to happen? I think we should just cover that in the next section because that's huge. That is huge. Well, I, well I, we can put it in the next section if you want. We'll do that along with the World Cup. They, yeah, well, and, 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 World and the rest of the speculation. On, on, and, and the rest <laughs> of the speculation on the Big Ten, too, because there's more to that. All right. Well, then we'll be right back with CorporateRadio.com. Okay? third sports right. segment. 